Gentlemen, well met. Well, I've been with you this hour, but an unexpected affair after you tie me. No ceremony, I beg you. Just breaking up to go upon uh, duty. Uh, am I, uh, might I have the honour of taking the air with you, sir, this evening upon the eve? Oh, yeah. I drink a dram now and then with a stagecoach, but in the way of friendship and intelligence, and I know by this time there'll be passengers on the Western Road who are worth speaking with. I must have been in that party, but. But what, sir? Is there any man who suspects my courage? We'll be witness of it. My honour's been truth to the gang. I'll be answerable for it. In the division of our booty, have I ever shown the least marks of avarice or injustice? By well, these questions, something seems to have ruffled you. Any of us suspect nah. it? I have a fixed confidence, gentlemen, in you all as men of honour, and as such, I value and respect you. Peach and Peach, you've got a place in the park, mate! Oh, shit, it's the end! Shut up, man! And with conduct and discretion, a pistol is your last resort. He knows nothing of this meeting. Well, I know. Business cannot go on without him. He's a man who knows the world and is a necessary agent to us. But if we have had a slight difference until it is accommodated, I shall be obliged to keep out of his way. You must continue to act under his directions. For the moment we break loose from him, our gang is ruined. Here's a poor draw. I grant it, he is to us a Look, great convenience. Make him believe I have quitted the gang, which I could never do but with life. At our private quarters, I will continue to meet you. But a week or so will probably reconcile us. Your instructions shall be observed. It is no high time to repair to our several duties. So, to the evening at our quarters in Moorfields, bid you farewell. Yeah, I shall wish myself with you. Yeah. Success attend you. Yeah. Aye. Let us take the road. I can hear the sound of coaches. The hour of attack approaches. Two arms wave boys and the Oh, my God.